Sailing, Full Level Lightning Dragon Slayer, Build the Fairy Tale Emperor, Author, Pirates, Chapter 276 Kazoo Kidden, Join the Battle on Top, Exclamation Mark Subscribe, Naval Headquarters, Atop the Battlefield, 36 Years Ago. The battle between Rocks, the Overlord of the Sea, and the Twin Kings of Guy's Mother was in full swing. The sky shattering hit directly, making Naval Headquarters crumbling. Under the joint onslaught of the two top emperors, even Rocks, who is as strong as the Overlord of the Sea, is at a disadvantage. Well, well, you are nothing more than that, Captain Rocks. For Emperor's Big Mom Charlotte Linlin -Lin laughed. Well, it's almost time to end, Linlin, -Lin, just use that trick. 227 Kaido of the Beasts grinned. Well, well. Yes. Then use our strongest combined attack to end this battle. If you can die under this move, you will not be ashamed, Captain Rocks. Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin's Homer's machete Napoleon raised above his head. At the same time, Four Emperors Kaido of the Beasts is also holding a mace high. Kai Kai. Boom. The Black and Red Conqueror's lightning is like a spiral, winding around the two of them. This is the most powerful combination attack of the two Four Emperors. Its name, Bahai. Ha 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 ha. Come on, Kaido, Lin Lin, I will take all your attacks and whatever doesn't kill me will make me stronger. The overlord of the sea, rocks, laughed wildly. Even in the face of the strongest combined attack of the two four emperors, they are still fearless and do not dodge or evade. Well, well, well. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Four emperors Big Mom and Kaido of the Beasts laughed in unison, seeing that they are about to launch a terrifying combination attack that dominates the world. At this time, the most critical moment, one of them lost the chain. Ah, 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 ah. The menacing four emperors Kaido of the Beasts suddenly let out an ugly cry. The momentum that had been condensed for a long time was disturbed at this moment, but Xia Zeng Zing. Mr. Kaido's, what's wrong with you? Yan Calamity Ember asked in a deep voice. Kaido. What the hell are you doing? You're dragging your feet. For Emperor's big mom Charlotte Lin Lin frowned dissatisfied. Look over there, who is that man? I don't know, but it seems to be amazing. When did that man over there show up? Is it the same as the One Piece Roger and the Overlord of the Sea? Is it a resurrected undead? Looking at the attire on that man, he seems to be a samurai. All over the battlefield, marines and pirates screamed one after another. Crash. The wind blows away the smoke. The identity of the third undead was subsequently revealed. Returning from Kaido's deep memory is a samurai. He wears a strange pot head, wearing an orange loose kimono. The crescent moon pattern is depicted on the kimono. A huge purple and white shimanawa is tied around the shoulders and waist. Eden, the four emperors Kaido of the Beasts screamed, revealing the identity of the third undead, Samurai Eden. Kazukiden, one Okyanese legendary samurai Kazukiden. Eighteen years ago, Kazukiden's two swordsmanship left indelible scars on Kaido's dragon body. Even though more than ten years have passed, the wound still hasn't healed and there is a dull pain from time to time. Before Suyu appeared, Kazukiden was Kaido of the Beast's biggest shadow and biggest fear. Eighteen years later now, Kazukiden, who should have been banned for and dead, is back. One can imagine the impact on Kaido's mind, so much so that even the overlord of the sea, Rocks, is 1.2. Eden. That guy is the Samurai Eden of Wanokuni. Flame Jade, who also recognized Kazukiden's identity, couldn't help but constrict his pupils. Eighteen years ago, he was also one of the participants in the capture of Wanokuni. Samurai Kazuki had also impressed him. The other side. Hear the screams of Kaido of the Beasts. The nearby marines and pirates also knew the identity of the third undead. Quickly, Eden's name spread throughout the battlefield. Chapter 277 Yamato is excited. Yari weeps. Whitebeard cheers. Subscribe. Naval headquarters. Atop the battlefield, the shock and uproar broke out again. Samurai Kazuki Eden? That man dot 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 that samurai is also one of the legends. A samurai from Wanokuni and the legend of the Roger Pirates, Kazuki Eden. How could such a thing happen? According to our information, Kazuki Eden died many years ago. It was the four emperors Kaido of the Beasts who killed him. Yet, another undead is resurrected. And it's still a legend. The elite veterans of naval headquarters all involuntarily screamed in shock. Eden. Is that Eden? There was endless joy and excitement on Pluton Rayleigh's old face. Watching another partner come back to life. Tears of joy overflowed his eyes unconsciously. More than twenty years ago, Roger C-28 bandits disbanded. They came to Wanokuni with Eden. After sending Eden back to the country, he left in a hurry. It was five years later that I heard about Eden. Kozuki Eden has died at the hands of Kaido of the Beasts. This has always been a regret in Rayleigh's heart. Rayleigh had thought about it more than once. If they could stay for a meal back then, maybe the result will be different. Ahahaha. <laughs> Eden, you're back too. One Piece Roger smiled brightly. Wanokuni's Samurai Kazuki Eden, another incredible character has appeared. Sabo spoke in shock. Samurai Kazuki Eden, I would said so. Confederate Army Commander Lindbergh stared wide-eyed. Samurai Kazuki Eden, Papa's partner and Yamato. Ace turned his head and looked at where Yamato was. Oh, ooh, ooh. Eden, it's Eden. Kazuki Eden is back too. Yamato cheered excitedly. 
jumping up and down. Eighteen years ago, Yamato witnesses the end of Kozuki Eden in the capital of flowers. He was deeply awed by his heroic figure. After this, she rushed to Julian Castle, pick up Eden's logbook at the foot of the mountain. I was deeply attracted by the bizarre events recorded in it. From then on, Kozuki Eden became her idol. Eden's logbook is her Bible. Now, see Kozuki Eden come back to life before your eyes. How could Yamato not be thrilled? This moment, there is one fairy tale girl who is more excited about Kozuki Eden's resurrection than Yamato. A fan, my lord father dot 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 it's really great. Kozuki Hiari couldn't help covering his face and weeping. The tears of joy couldn't stop falling, because Kozuki Eden is her father. The father who thought he would never see him again. Now it just appeared in front of myself. How exciting is this? Not just Kazuki Hiari and Yamato. Watch Kazuki Eden come back to life on the battlefield, headed by four emperors Whitebeard, the old men of the Whitebeard pirates. At this moment, everyone was shocked beyond measure. After the shock, Endless joy and excitement emerged. Cool la 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 la. The heroic laughter soared into the sky. That's Whitebeard Edward Newgate laughing. During Whitebeard's long 70 plus years of life, this smile is also his pinnacle, the happiest in his life. All because of the tall warrior who came back from hell. Dad, it's Eden. This time, it's Eden. This is really a super big 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 surprise. Master Eden. Master Eden is back too. This must also be a miracle performed by President Suyu. President Suyu is simply the most incredible existence in the world. Marco, Jaws, Beast and other white group captains and veteran members shouted in surprise and excitement. Everyone, why are you so happy? 187. Listen to Marine, that samurai should belong to the Roger Pirates. Why are the seniors so excited? The faces of the newcomers of the white beard pirates who didn't know about those decades ago were full of doubts and incomprehension. Idiot, Eden is indeed a member of the Roger Pirates. But before that, he was also a partner of our white beard pirates. At the beginning, Eden went to sea with our father. You are too young, so you don't know, before Ace. The second captain of our Whitebeard Pirates was Eden. The old people of Baichun enthusiastically and excitedly told the new people about this unknown past. Then, all over the battlefield, the uproar of the people became even worse in an instant. Not just newcomers to the Whitebeard Pirates. The people on the Marine side were also very shocked by this secret. After all, that is the man who was in two legendary pirates at the same time. Chapter 278 Marine Shakes Marshal Sengoku regrets. Subscribe. Say Paddy Islands. Live Plaza. Wow Tilda. Everywhere in the square, there was an uproar again. Kozuki Eden. The legendary samurai of Wanokini. Another dead legend resurrected. This is already the third undead. What the hell is going on with this war today? Dead legends come back to life one after another. Fairy tale president for Emperor Suyu. Is he really a god? There is no doubt that that man is Uranus. The hell who rules the underworld. Being an enemy to him is equivalent to making an enemy to the entire underworld. Even if it is the world government, there is no chance of winning against the godlike man. The tens of thousands of journalists and Melanitas gathered in the square were in constant uproar. As expected, the third legendary undead appeared. Trafalgar Law, the surgeon of death, looked very solemn. I thought that the resurrection and summoning of Roger, the pirate king, and Rox, the overlord of the sea, was already the limit. I didn't expect that there would be a third one, so there would be no guarantee that there would be no fourth or fifth. Capone Big, the captain of the flame tank pirates shook his head in a shocked murmur, to be against that man dot 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 to be an enemy of fairy tale is simply hopeless, Sky Island strange monkey or Oosh said, so far, we still don't know the resurrection mechanism of the undead legends, this is the real problem, Hawkins, the magic stick and half fairy, spoke faintly, as that man's opponent, this is especially important, because you never know the limit of his resurrection ability, the legendary powerhouses are revived one after another, and no one can beat them, fallen marine rear admiral drake shook his head, feeling that the future of Marine was bleak. The truth is exactly what he said. The appearance of the third legendary undead, Kazuki Eden, not only allowed Kaido of the Beasts to break the defense, at the same time, it also allowed the entire naval headquarters and the big figures of the world government to collectively break the defense. If only the One Piece Roger and the Sea Overlord rocks, although the situation is equally critical, there are more or less ways to deal with it, but, the resurrection of the third undead, Kazuki Eden, appears. Strong strength is only second. After all, Kozuki Eden is no better than Roger and Rox. The really scary thing is that there are three and there are four. We can't be sure how many undead legends we will face next. This is where the real problem lies. What are you kidding? How could such a thing happen? Fairy tale President Suyu, is he really a god? Enemies against god, we have no chance of winning from the beginning. An enemy of fairy tale is the biggest mistake. Actually, I still have a good impression of fairy tale. Yeah, so do I. Because fairy tale's achievements are obvious to all over the past year. Vertical bar fairy tale is the real hero of the sea, their justice is even higher than our marine. So far, countless countries and people have been saved by them. If it wasn't for the world government and the celestial dragons. If it wasn't for those moths, how could we have met the sister's tale? Why are we fighting fairy tale, the hero of the sea? I knew it earlier, 
It would have ended after winning in that illusory world. Yeah, if I knew this earlier, I would follow what the fairy tale president said. Kian Haozhou, everyone is happy. The elites at naval headquarters are in deep self-doubt right now, facing fairy tale. They already couldn't bring up the slightest fighting spirit because they can't beat them, and also because fairy tale is justice in their eyes, not just ordinary sailors. This moment, even Marshal Sengoku, who was the decision maker, regretted that he didn't insist on not being an enemy of fairy tale to the end. Kula la la la, it's too late to regret it now. Sengoku. Chapter 279 Kazuki Eden and Whitebeard. Exclamation mark subscribe. Kula la la la, it's too late to regret it now. You have completely angered that man. For Emperor's Whitebeard looked teasingly at the regretful Marshal Sengoku. Ha ha ha. That's right. That's right. It's too late to regret it now. Fairy tale is the hero of the sea. They are the real justice. As long as the world government and the celestial dragons are here, your marine's justice is just a joke. If you really have the so-called justice in your hearts, you must first punish the so-called celestial dragons. If I were you, I would throw away the darkness and turn to the light now, and fall under fairy tale. The people of the Whitebeard pirates sneered again and again, further breaking down the psychological defense of the marine elites. If it were changed to the past, the people on the marine side would definitely refute it without hesitation. But now, the elites of naval headquarters 100 were silent, passively bearing the verbal attacks of the pirates, because even they can't help but think so in their hearts. Just when Marine was shaken by it, the other side, Kazuki Eden, the corpse warrior who manifested in history, also sorted out all the memories and information flow, and slowly opened his eyes. His eyes fell first on Four Emperor's white beard. Sorry, Baixioji. Kazuki Eden spoke apologetically. Then, Whitebeard tolerated his arbitrariness. Treat him like your brother, your family. However, he abandoned Whitebeard and the Whitebeard pirates midway. For his own selfishness, he jumped to Roger's ship. It was a good year to go back. The result is gone forever. Not being able to see Whitebeard for the last time is also the regret of Kazuki Eden's life. Idiot, why are you still talking about this now? For Emperor's Whitebeard laughed and cursed. Yeah yeah, don't talk about it now, Eden. It's a great thing to see you again, Master Eden. Welcome back. Marco, Kie, Ozi, Beaster. Yizang and other old people in the Baichun all smiled happily. Everyone, Kozuki Eden has tears in his eyes, very touched by the tolerance of Whitebeard et al. Ahahaha, Eden, if you want to apologize, after leaving this battlefield, I will accompany you. One Piece Roger laughed. That's right, Eden, after all, it was my captain who insisted on taking you away. Rayleigh laughed. Roger, Rayleigh, the rosy color at the corners of Kozuki Eden's eyes deepened. Father Akbj, a crying voice came from the sky. Kozuki Eden suddenly looked up, looking at the beautiful green-haired girl on the deck of the fairy tale. The expression on his face couldn't help but froze. Yari, with just one glance, he knew that it was his daughter Gwing Jaraika. Father, Kozuki Yari broke down in tears. Very good. It's really great, Yari Chan, being able to say goodbye to dad. Tai pants are really spicy. Robin, Nami, Vivi and other fairy tale girls are all happy for Kazuki Hiari. At the same time, the girls had some other ideas in their hearts. Since Hiari's father Eden can be resurrected, their mother must also. Certainly, now is not the time. Kula la la la, it's ugly to cry on such a happy day, Eden. Whitebeard joked. I didn't. Kazuki Eden hastily wiped the tears from the corners of his eyes. The expression on his face became determined again. He turned his gaze, compared to four emperors Kaido of the Beasts, locked on Blackbeard first. Because Blackbeard teaches the one who started this war. Because Blackbeard teach killed the companions on the ship and killed the 4th Division Sage. But also because Blackbeard teach was once his subordinate. Teach, you dare to do such a rebellious thing, have you already felt it? Kozuki Eden spoke coldly. Chapter 280 Eden vs Kaido. Aunt is cursing. Subscribe. Naval headquarters, on the top of the battlefield. The waves once again piled up. Teach, I didn't expect that you, with thick eyebrows and big eyes would dare to do such rebellious things one after another. You are really ambitious. I misjudged you before. Kozuki Eden locked his eyes on Blackbeard Teach. His eyes were cold and full of killing intent. After knowing the heinous things that Blackbeard Teach has done, Kozuki Eden will no longer have the slightest sympathy for his companions and subordinates. You dot 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 Captain Eden. Feel the murderous gaze from Kozuki Eden. Blackbeard's dark, ugly face looks unnatural. As for Kozuki Eden, he will naturally recognize him. After all, that person is one of the legends of their Whitebeard pirates. Not as a son, but as a Whitebeard brother, the former captain of the Whitebeard Pirates second team, is also his boss-like existence. He has been under Captain Eden's care since the years since Eden came aboard the ship decades ago. Originally thought that Eden had jumped ship to join the Roger Pirates, but later he was murdered by Kaido, and they had no chance to see each other again. Who would have thought, now, at this worst possible time? Now that he betrayed the Whitebeard Pirates, causing a big crisis for the Whitebeard Pirates, Captain Kazuki Eden is back. At this moment, Blackbeard felt a chill that pierced his heart for no reason. It's really ugly, 
black beard, it's just a kazookiden. Crescent Moon Hunter Katarina Deppen sneered. It's outrageous that a kazookiden scares you like this, teach. The villainous King Elboro Pizarro sneered again and again. Blackbeard didn't speak. Others do not know. But it is impossible for him not to know. Exactly how powerful is kazookiden? The former captain of the Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division. Cool la 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 la. The laughter of four emperors Whitebeard reappeared, and the Blackbeard teach couldn't help being excited. Eden. Leave it to me to clean up the portal, you have more urgent things to solve now. Whitebeard said, Baixyoji. Kozukiden murmured, after a moment, he nodded heavily. I see. Kozukiden suddenly turned his head. The eyes shifted from Blackbeard Teach to Kaido of the Beasts. Compared to Blackbeard, Kaido is his worst enemy. Hey hey hey, long time no see, Eden. After the initial shock, the four emperors Kaido of the Beasts regained their usual composure. Honestly, I'm really glad to see you again, Eden. Stop kidding, Kaido. The past grievances, the harm you caused to Wanokuni, just end today. Kozuki didn't snapped his drink. That's exactly what I mean, Dan. The original four emperors Kaido of the Beasts grinned. Zero dot asked for flowers. Eighteen years ago. For imitating the meddling of old wives. He beat Kozuki Eden in disgraceful fashion. For so many years, this has been a thorn in Kaido's heart. Now, the opportunity has come. He once again had a chance to crush Kozuki Eden head on. Lin Lin, I'm sorry, the rocks will be handed over to you for the time being and I will help you after I solve Kazukiden. Leaving this sentence behind, Kaido of the Beasts strode towards Kazukiden with a mace on his shoulders. Zero. No more nonsense, Eden dual sword style. Thunder. Eight trigrams. The fierce confrontation between Kazukiden and Kaido of the Beasts started after eighteen years. The other side. Damn Kaido, leave the toughest bone to me alone. I at hash yen percent. For Empress Pigmum Charlotte Lin, Lin broke the defense and cursed endlessly. It was because of her collaboration with Kaido that she dared to speak out against rocks. But right now, Kaido suddenly dropped the pick and left her to fight Rox alone, isn't it a joke? Ha 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 ha, what's the matter? Lin Lin, what about your previous aura? Is this why you're afraid? Overlord of the Sea Rox laughed. Don't be kidding, Tony Yang is also four emperors. Four emperors Big Mom shouted and attacked. Boom, rumble, plus. Chapter 281 Rosen and T resurrected. Sengoku, Liu tears collapse. Subscribe. Naval Headquarters. The war resumes. Kozu Kiden and Kaido of the Beasts fought again after 18 years. Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin bit the bullet and singled out the rocks, the king of the ocean. However, with her own strength, it is obvious that she cannot compete with the former Captain Rocks. The battlefield situation has once again reversed and changed. To this, it's not just Big Moni who want to scold their mothers, but also the world government. Originally, they were planning the abacus that the enemy of the enemy is the friend. I plan to use Guy 073 and Big Mom to solve rocks first, then use their power to fight Fairy Tail. However, right now, this calculation is doomed to fail. Damn it, damn it, there is a third undead. The leader of the Knights of God, Figerland Garin, gritted his teeth with an ugly expression on his face. Even if there is no undead Eden, as long as that man gives an order, at least there are no less than two hands here who can intervene in that battlefield. Marshal Sengoku spoke quietly. The real source of the problem is indeed this man. As long as he can be solved, those undead who do not belong to this era should disappear. Kong, the commander-in-chief of the world government's armed forces, looked solemn. Ji ha 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 ha, your idea is very good, but unfortunately, this is something you can never do. Golden Lion Shiki spoke sarcastically. Don't underestimate the world government, the foundation of the 800-year-old government cannot be easily shaken by you mob and three undead. Blonde Jupiter Five Elders Peter spoke coldly. Three? Who told you there were only three? So you smiled slightly. Nanny. The swearing Jupiter Five Elders Peter's complexion changed, and his heart skipped a beat, giving rise to an ominous premonition. Clap. So you clapped his hands. The history of the corpse relaunched. Next second, there was a violent uproar on the huge top battlefield. Ah uh, ah uh, uh. How is this going? This guy dot 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 why is this bastard still alive? And this guy, he's already dead by tomorrow. Also, this man belongs to the Whitebeard Pirates. He has already been killed by me. Undead, they are all undead. The undead who once died have collectively recovered. This is an army of undead. Alas, not just enemies. This guy is, my brother. My brother, you are resurrected too. All over the battlefield, the sea soldiers screamed in horror and surprise one after another, forming a continuous film. It's just a momentary effort. An army of undead appeared on the battlefield. It is derived from the deep memory of the marines. The fearsome adversary they once faced or the brother they lived and died with, now returns in the history of corpses. Mini fruit. Marshal Sengoku suddenly turned around, looking at the young man who appeared behind him. His eye sockets couldn't help turning red on the spot, and his tall body couldn't stop trembling. Because, it is his son who came back from his memory. You are, Rosinanti. The great staff officer, Vice Admiral Crane, also widened his eyes in shock. Wait, don't go there. That's the enemy, Mr. Sengoku. The nearby sailors shouted to stop it. However, Marshal Sengoku is unheard of. 
he just staggered towards the adopted son who was haunted by dreams, open 5.8 arms, and embrace the returning Don Quixote Rosinante in his arms. Sorry, really sorry, Rosinante. At this moment, the calm Marine Marshal Sengoku couldn't stop crying. Also crying were the supernova death surgeons far away in the islands of Sebadi. Mr. Karazan. Tears couldn't stop streaming down Trafalgar Law's face. I'm going to see him. Definitely going to see him. Chapter 282 C Emperor Suyu. Taboo of taboos. Subscribe. Sebadi Islands. Live Plaza. Oh, ooh, 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 damn. What the hell? What's going on? What the hell is going on here? Undead. Are all those people undead? Although I can't recognize all of them, I know a few of them, and they are already dead. The dead. The dead souls are resurrected in pieces. Fairy tale chairman for Emperor Suyu, is he really a god? This kind of thing can only be done by God. The tens of thousands of reporters gathered here and the people who eat melon 03 all lost their voices in shock. It's outrageous. I thought that even if that man could use taboo methods to resurrect the undead, he would need some special preparations, and it was absolutely impossible to be unlimited, but... The captain of the flame tank pirates, Capone Big, widened his eyes and shook his head unconsciously. Wrong. We were all wrong, for that man. There is no difficulty in resurrecting the undead. Clap your hands and create an army of ten undead. That man is the minister of the undead. Corrupted Marine Rear Admiral Drake faint way. Even if there is only one person, that man is already the most terrifying existence in the world. If one person forms an army, the whole world of the undead is his training ground. Sky Island Strange Monkair or Uj paused every word, and murmured shockingly. Emperor. That man is the Emperor of the Sea. Haming Skilichman ap groaned strangely. Trafalgar, where are you going? The kid sensed Trafalgar Law's hasty departure. Death Sergeant Trafalgar Law did not answer. Just hurrying, led the team to leave. He is going. Go to that battlefield. Meet your dream benefactor, Mr. Cora. Wait for me. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. The army of the undead descended. There are enemies that Marines used to fear. There are also their deceased brothers and relatives. For a while, the battlefield of the large headquarters fell into unprecedented chaos. Dead enemies suddenly strike. Return of deceased brothers and loved ones. Two different extreme emotions collide together. Completely disintegrated Marines fighting spirit and morale. Even Marshal Sengoku who is the backbone of the Marine. At this moment, I am deeply immersed in the resurrection and return of my son and cannot extricate myself. Migo, welcome back. Marshal Sengoku has tears in his tiger's eyes, and the Iron Man is tender. I'm back, Ensign by Don Quixote Rosen and he also had red eyes. He is also very excited and happy that he can return to the world again and meet his former family members. What the hell is going on here? Sister he, looking at the chaotic scene in front of him, alternate Admiral Mo Mousagi Giant murmured unconsciously. It's all the work of that man. We were wrong. Big mistake. Standing with the world government against that man is the worst decision we have ever made. A rare look of panic appeared on Vice Admiral Crane's usually calm old face. Compared with the undead enemies, Vice Admiral is more disturbed by the returning relatives. For the enemies 887 undead, they were able to clean it up without mercy. But, what if the other party is your relative or brother? If the undead brothers who are now happily reunited suddenly kill them, what a scene from hell it must be. And whether this cruel reality appears or not is all in Suyu's thought. Mr. Marine Crane. Why are you looking at me like this? Aren't you happy to see your daughter again? So you spoke lightly, with a harmless smile on his face. Grandma, Grandma, it's Mum. Mum is back. The peacock, a beautiful girl with long legs, is hugging the young mother in front of her. Manipulating the undead is a taboo among taboos that must never be touched. The great staff officer of Ice Admiral Crane spoke faintly. Chapter 283 Resurrecting the Sun God Nika Joy Boy! Exclamation mark subscribe! Resurrect the dead! Manipulate the undead, no matter which world you are in. These are all taboo methods that cannot be touched, because heaven cannot tolerate them. While Marshal Sengoku is overwhelmed by the joy of Rosinanti's resurrection, Chief of Staff Vice Admiral Crane is always alert to himself which is Marine's last sobriety, so even if the dead daughter was resurrected, she never wavered. What are you talking about? Grandma, Chairman Sui brought mother back to life. Grandma, aren't you happy? Peacock shook his head puzzled. Mom, it's great to see you again. The returned Vice Admiral Crane's daughter has tears in her eyes. Vice Admiral Crane's heart twitched violently when he saw this posture. She also wanted to embrace her daughter passionately, but... Don't worry, Crane Vice Admiral. I know what you're worried about. So you grinned. The kind of thing you are worried about will not happen. The so-called taboo means also depends on who uses it and how it is used. That's it. The president of our family is not some devil. You should all thank the president. After all, the president reunited you with your loved ones! Exclamation mark. The president is your dream master. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Honestly, I'm a little bit jealous right now. That's right. After all, even we haven't enjoyed this benefit yet. Robin, Nami, Vivi. Perona and other fairy tale girls spoke one after another, their words full of envy. The guarantee from Suyu and the words of the fairy tale girls completely defeated the defense of the chief staff officer, Vice Admiral Crane. 
Marine's final sobriety is also a fall. Don't worry, everyone's wish can be fulfilled. So you nodded affirmatively. Real? Very good. Then let's end it quickly. I cannot wait anymore. All the fairy tale girls are gearing up and can't wait. That's it. Sunning turned his head and his eyes fell on Jupiter Five Elders Peter and the top officials of the world government. My girls are a little bit in a hurry, so let's make a quick decision next. So you spread his hands and said, HMPH, a quick fix? What a wishful thinking. The leader of the Knights of God, Figerland Garin, snorted coldly. Don't think that you can influence us with such a small way of demagogy. No matter what undead you summon, I will never be shaken. Jupiter Five Elders Peter categorically. Really? Not even Nika? The Sun God, Sue you asked back with a smile. Nanny, why do you know this name? Jupiter Five Elders Peter's complexion changed drastically immediately, and he was slapped in the face on the spot. He he, just kidding, don't be nervous, it's not the right time for Joey Boy's resurrection, I'm going to leave this surprise to the people above you. Sue you said lightly, above, listening to Sue's pointed words. The expression on Jupiter Five Elders Peter's face changed further. He could hear the implication of Suyu's words. The other party knew far more than he expected. It's not just Nico and Joy Boy. Suyu even knew that they were only the highest powers in the world on the surface. Suyu knows there are people above them. The other party knows the existence of Lord Im, and prepare to give Joey Boy's resurrection surprise to master him. Lee Keynes, unforgivable. Never allowed. The sun god Nika must not be allowed to appear in front of Lord Im. Jupiter Five Elders Peter clearly knew what a huge impact that would have on Lord Im. Just as Five Elders Pit was emotionally charged, Celery in the next second, boom, without warning. The terrifying supergravity descends, push the world government's spaceship to the ground. Immediately afterwards, bright rays of light bloomed one after another. Smash. Chapter 284 Super Advanced Crushing Magic. Overlord Rock Broken. Subscribe. Naval Headquarters. Atop the battlefield, fights always happen in the blink of an eye. Just as the Jupiter Five Elders were still immersed in the vibrations of Sun God Nika, the dark purple supergravity halo suddenly enveloped the world government spacecraft. That's when Paramisha's multi-fruit ability used a shot with a smile. Clang. The moment the stick knife was unsheathed, the terrifying supergravity descends. The spaceship of the world government and all the people on board were crushed to the ground. It didn't wait for the powerhouses of the world government to react from this attack. Next moment, a figure rushed out suddenly chasing the falling world government spaceship. The big hand lightly touched the hull of the spaceship, and bright light shone. 527 Super Advanced Destruction Magic, Smash, Activate, Smash, Gildarts whispered faintly. There was only a bang. The spaceship built by the genius scientist Vegapunk with a crystallization of ancient technology completely disintegrated. The hull turned into three-dimensional small cubes one after another from the inside out, scattered all over the place. Hateful, damn, fairy. The furious scolding of the big figures in the world government is only halfway through. A third round of attacks followed. The sky and the sea are not my home field, but if it is land, then there is no problem. Jura, who had a long black beard that reached her waist, clasped her hands together, and, Agk, walked out slowly. Powerful waves of magic power surged out of his body. Drink. Jura, who has the title of Yanti, opened his eyes angrily and let out a cry. Next second, countless stones flew up from the dilapidated mainland and piled up towards the people of the world government. It didn't take a moment to pile up into a hill. Immediately afterwards, a pair of huge stone hands rose from the ground. He slammed down towards the rocky mountain without mercy. Overlord rock break. Boom. Rumble. Say buddy islands. Live plaza. Oh 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 oh. The strange screams of the reporters and the melon-eating crowd suddenly arose. On. It's on. Fairy tale and world government are at war. This is not a joke. It's a real war. Fairy tale actually took action against the five elders, the highest power in the world. Blind Swordsman Yik Xiao, King of Smash Gildarts, and Jura of Rock and Iron, the three of them are attacking together. What about the world government? What about the Knights of God? What about the Five Elders? Couldn't everyone have been killed already? That is enough to fight against the existence of the Double Emperor Alliance. Even if it is killed, there is no surprise. A group of reporters and people who eat melons are talking about it. In the next second, the battlefield changes and rebirth. Rumble, under Jura's overlord rock breaking out, countless rubble flew and endless smoke and dust rose in all directions. However, among the soaring smoke and dust, there are still several huge figures looming. Uh, oh, oh, boom tilde. The roars of wild beasts and monsters exploded one after another, stirring up a terrifying storm that dispersed the sky. Ever since, people on and off the battlefield were finally able to see clearly the real bodies of the behemoths in the smoke and dust. There are snakes with strange lights shining in their eyes, wolves with fur-like steel needles shining silver-white light, and strange creatures with eagle heads sphinx bodies, and bird claws. Ah, uh, then dot 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 what the hell is going on with those creatures? Monster. It's a monster. Why are there so many monsters suddenly? No. No, these guys are all ability users, and they are only humans ability users. There are so many zone phantom beasts, which are even rarer than Lodia, 
appearing at one time. Is this the foundation of the world government? Knights of God. It's Mary E. Joyce's Knights of God. E. Dot, dot, dot. They are all phantom beasts. Chapter 285. The Udman's Knights of God. Zone wakes up. Subscribe. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. The roars of fierce beasts and monsters attracted the attention of the audience. Wait to see the behemoths emerging from the smoke. All over the battlefield, people on both sides of the marine and pirates couldn't help but change their expressions in horror. Wow, what's going on with those guys? It's really too big. Nami's complexion changed suddenly, a little frightened. Those are not ordinary animals. They are simply monsters. Vivi couldn't help holding her breath. Phantom beast. That is a mythical creature that exists in legends. Robin spoke solemnly. I once read the illustrated book of mythical creatures, and the image of that snake is almost the same as the dust world python recorded in the book. There is also the silver white giant wolf that is 100 meters long, most likely it is the king giant wolf Fenra who dominates the northern land. Besides, there is the phantom beast with the head of a lion and the body of a lion probably the ruler of the sky, she deng griffin. Robin told everyone all the information he knew. Are all the phantom beasts? The world government really built an incredible army. Sabo, the young chief of staff of the revolutionary army, spoke in a deep voice. No, not all of them are phantom beasts. The two over there should probably be the branches of ordinary zone cats with fruit abilities, the tiger king of beasts and the lion king of grasslands. Koala noticed two shape-shifting animals at the monster's feet. The characteristics of tigers and lions are indeed obvious. Song Shi. What about the tattoos on tigers and lions and wee eyes hong? That shouldn't be the characteristics of animals. Confederate Army Commander Lindbergh asked puzzledly. It's awakening. Pluton really said gravely. That's right. It should be awakening. Khalifa nodded in agreement. When I was in CP9, I heard that the shield CP of Celestial Dragons is the apex of CP, and those who can enter CP0 are all outstanding CPS, and those who stand at the apex of PR ability awakeners. Khalifa told everyone what he knew. This is really an incredible sight. So many rare Udmans have appeared in one go, and Zones awaken ones. The captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, the Phoenix Marco, looked a little dignified. The background of world government is indeed incredible, but, Fairy Tail is not an ordinary person. The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, sighed. Indeed, in terms of the number of strong players, at least on this battlefield, the world government and Marine together may not be able to compare to Fairy Tail. Team 5's Captain Foil Beast Dao. Fairy Tail President Suyu is simply a god. Captain Sage who has returned from the wreckage of history, sighed. Cool la la la, thanks to President Suyu, the Marines don't care about us now, so the next thing to do is to clean up the portal first. Four, Emperor's Whitebeard turned his gaze, and locked his eyes on the Blackbeard gang in the distance. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers dot 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 zero. At the same time, Blackbeard Teach, who was immersed in the shock of the world government's Phantom Beast lineup, suddenly got excited. He sensed the murderous gaze from Four Emperor's Whitebeard. He turned his head mechanically to meet Whitebeard's eyes. Blackbeard Teach's heart sank suddenly, and he felt an ominous premonition. Next second, I saw Four Emperor's Whitebeard's knees were slightly bent, and his tall body suddenly shot up into the sky. Zero, boom. Accompanied by a dull sound, Four Emperor's Whitebeard fell in front of Blackbeard's gang. Teach, an angry howl rumbled across the battlefield. Kai 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 kai. Because of the suppressed anger, Whitebeard's skin seemed to turn red at this moment and sheets of scorching steam were evaporating. Teach, a blue line of fire streaked across the sky, and Marco, the captain of the first team, Phoenix, slammed down behind Whitebeard, glaring at Blackbeard. Teach, the monstrous crimson sea of flames caused the temperature of the atmosphere to rise. The air was twisted under the burning, and the anger erupted like Emperor Yan's man rushing out of the sea of flames. The captain of the second team, Hugh Oquanace, came with a murderous look. Teach, teach, the captain of the third division Jaws. The revived captain of the 4th Division Sage, the 5th Division Foil Beaster, captains of the Whitebeard Pirates, come together, dot 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 and, chapter 286 Blackbeard scared to pee, exclamation mark subscribe, naval headquarters, atop the battlefield, the all-out war between Fairy Tail and the world government has finally begun, the other side, the final battle between Whitebeard and Blackbeard is also in progress, teach, 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 headed by 4 Emperors Whitebeard, 1st Team Marco, 2nd Team Ace, 3rd Team Josie, 4th Team Saki, 5th Team Vista, until the 16th Team Captain Izo, Captain Whitebeard and 16 Captain Level Carders surrounded Blackbeard Teach and his group of 477, Whitebeard and the Captain's Teach, it kept echoing in Blackbeard's mind like a spell, the shock made his brain buzz, and his dark face was pale at the moment, Captain Teach, what should we do now, fighting champion Yisha Buggy was sweating profusely, is everything an arrangement of fate, this is our doomed disaster, Otto Koshi Fanuka, a supporter of the theory of fate, was full of despair, but he also accepted the safety of fate calmly. From Impel down to here, everything has been so smooth, until now. It's all because of that man, 
and it's all because of fairy tale. Devil Sheriff Lafayette was full of surprises. Damn it, teach, Lozy really believed you're evil, Lozy didn't come to be your thug, quit. Whitebeard pirates I have nothing to do with Blackbeard. The evil King Elboro Pizarro left immediately, wanting to distance himself from Blackbeard. Teach, is this your so-called performance and plan? If so, the agreement between us should be annulled on the spot. Crescent Moon Hunter Katarina Deppen narrowed her eyes and walked away silently. The big barrel Basque Cho 8 took a few steps back without saying a word. Even Sher of the Rain who bet on Blackbeard. At this moment, he is also calmly drawing a line with Blackbeard. Damn, damn, damn. Blackbeard teach gritted his teeth. However, the upper and lower rows of teeth chattered uncontrollably. The current situation is simply a desperate situation for him, according to his original expectation. When he arrives at the naval headquarters battlefield, Whitebeard and Marine must have lost both. At that time, as a fisherman, he can easily pick the fruits of victory. Take the head of four emperors Whitebeard in one fell swoop, and capture the strongest ability of Paramecia shock fruit. Achieve unprecedented double strongest demon fruit power. It should be so. However, because of fairy tale, all the trajectories run counter to what he imagined. For Emperor's white beard was not seriously injured as he expected, and still maintained considerable combat power. Even the captains, all of them now pulled out their hands and surrounded him. This is a desperate situation. However, the masters he recruited from Impel Down are also breaking up at the moment. If it's just his original team, I'm afraid it will be destroyed in an instant. What to do? Is there any other way to get out of trouble now? Blackbeard teaches eyeballs move up and down, left and right. It eventually fell to Marine Marshal Sengoku. Marshal Marine Sengoku, what are you doing now? This is a battlefield, and now it's a war. Don't you want to wipe out the Whitebeard pirates? If Whitebeard succeeds in rescuing Ace today, what will be the impact on Marine's prestige? How huge it is, you shouldn't be unclear. Blackbeard teach sternly yelled out righteous words, as if thinking of 0.2 for Marine's sake. Thoughts on Blackbeard. Marshal Sengoku, who is known as the resourceful general, is certainly not ignorant. Teach, I know what you're thinking. I just want to use the power of our Marine to help you deal with the Whitebeard pirates. I can promise you this. Marshal Sengoku said calmly. Real? Blackbeard teacher's eyes lit up, seeing hope. But... Marshal Sengoku changed the subject abruptly. Chapter 287 Sengoku's Resourcefulness. Disintegrate the black group in one sentence. Subscribe for the Blackbeard Gang. The only way out right now is with Marine's support. Work with Marine to counter the siege of the Whitebeard pirates and get everything back on track. Only, now knowing what happened to Impel Down, the idea of him re-establishing a partnership with Marine is just a fantasy. With the idea of treating a dead horse as a living horse doctor, Marshal Sengoku of Blackbeard Teach made this suggestion. I thought that I just said it casually, and the other party would never agree. Never thought about it. Marshal Sengoku readily agreed. Ten what? I knew that Marine Admiral Sengoku is the most sensible, but right now the Whitebeard pirates are unstoppable with the support of Fairy Tail, and we are not in a time of infighting. We must gather all our strength to. Blackbeard spoke with a smile on his face. Don't get too excited, Blackbeard. I haven't said anything yet. Marshal Sengoku interrupts Blackbeard teaches touting. Blackbeard, I can re-acknowledge your Shikibukai identity, but there is a premise. Marshal Sengoku had a teasing arc on his face. Seeing this, Blackbeard's heart skipped a beat, with a hint of ominous premonition. As expected, evil government King Avalo Pizarro, Crescent Moon Hunter Katarina Deppen, Big Wine Barrel Basque Cho 8, Huge Battleship Wolf, and Traitor Shuru. How did you bring these five people out of Impel Down? How to send it back to me now? If this can be done. I can't reconsider, Sengoku said with a playful face. As his voice fell, the atmosphere in the room suddenly dropped below freezing point. The smile on Blackbeard Teacher's face faded and disappeared. Crescent Moon Hunter Katarina Deppen and even King Avalo Pizarro squinted their eyes and looked at Blackbeard. The demon sword thunderstorm in Shura's hand was shining with bloodthirsty red light. Even Basque Cho 8, who has been in a drunk state, is quietly alert at this time. As for the huge battleship Wolf, it is even more ready to run away at any time. After finally escaping from that dark impel down, of course 10,000 of them don't want to go back. And, they never doubted Blackbeard's character. After all, this is a person who can mercilessly kill even his partners of decades for his own benefit. Their friendship with Blackbeard is shallow compared to that of Sage. They were also ready to betray each other. Chi, please pay attention to what you are going to say next. Crescent Moon Hunter Katarina Deppen coldly threatened. What are you talking about now? Just take Teach and hand it over to Whitebeard as a nomination certificate. The evil King Avalo Pizarro is gearing up. That's what Shuru thinks too. If it weren't for the uncertainty of Whitebeard's attitude, he had already acted preemptively, feeling the killing intent from the partners. The expression on Blackbeard's black face became increasingly ugly. Originally, although there was disagreement between them, it was not to the point where swords were on the verge of breaking out. But, 
because of a few words from Marshal Sengoku. His relationship with the impelled down prisoners suddenly deteriorated to the extreme. A drop of cold sweat oozed from Blackbeard's forehead and ran down his dark face. After a while, slap. The applause sounded. It's truly Marshal Sengoku, worthy of the name of 813 the resourceful general. A few words almost caused my team to collapse from within. Blackbeard braised viciously. Sha, Aru, Katarina Deppen, Basque Cho 8, Avalo Pizarro and Bad Wolf, I know exactly what you are thinking, but in today's situation, we'd better continue working together. I know Whitebeard's character the most, but he will never let you go just because you have drawn a clear line from me. Rather than being defeated one by one, it is better to join hands and still have a chance. Blackbeard stopped drinking in a deep voice. To this, for Emperor's Whitebeard did not refute, because there is no need, as long as there is no marine interference. No matter teach alone, or the whole Blackbeard gang. It doesn't make much difference to him. Raise your hand to crush. Chapter 288 Blackbeard challenges Whitebeard. Thatch confronts Teach. Subscribe. On the battlefield of naval headquarters, the battle has resumed. After knowing Marine's firm attitude, Blackbeard Teach also lost hope. The difficulties ahead can only be overcome by themselves. You should be clear that in the current situation, the divisions have been broken one by one. Only by gathering everyone's strength can there be a chance of survival. Blackbeard Teach spoke earnestly and tried his best to keep Sha Aru, the evil king, Katarina and the big wine barrel. However, persuasion and retention of Blackbeard, whether it's Sha Aru or Crescent Moon Hunter, Avalo Pizarro, Buster Cho 8, all four of them remained silent did not respond, and did not expressly refuse at the same time. The current situation is unclear, and keeping silent is the best choice. Damn it! Blackbeard Teach gritted his teeth. However, this result did not exceed his expectations. They are, after all, supervillains from Impel Down Eternal Hell. I also know that it is impossible to return these vicious big pirates with these few words. The current desperate situation can only be overcome by himself. Since Marine's face has been completely torn apart, there can be no breakthrough. Then look for a breakthrough from Whitebeard on the other side. The breach certainly wasn't a self-inflicted way of surrendering to Whitebeard. It is another action that in the eyes of others is tantamount to committing death. That is to propose a one-on-one -on -one captain's duel to four emperors Whitebeard. As long as he can kill Whitebeard, then take advantage of Dark Fruit's ability to swallow Whitebeard's shock fruit. Then all problems will be solved. The dead end will also become the avenue to the sky. At that time, he will be unstoppable. This idea is very bold in the eyes of others and it can even be said to be courting death. But Blackbeard Teach is confident in himself, because now he has the most vicious Logia Dark Fruit ability. For Emperor's Whitebeard's strongest earthquake ability can't hurt him at all. The more Blackbeard thought about it, the more excited he became, and the more he thought about it, the more feasible he felt. Father, I have a proposal, so how about it? We two will be the representatives of our respective teams to make a break. One on one kind of tilde. Blackbeard Teach ambitiously sends Whitebeard an invitation to fight. After all, if the two of us go to war in an all-out way, we will inevitably end up losing both sides. At that time, Marine will only pick peaches for no reason. Dad, you probably don't want to see this result. Say it. The Blackbeard teach looked nervously at Whitebeard, afraid that Whitebeard would not agree to his invitation to a duel. After all, his reason for the duel is not sufficient, it is very far-fetched. With the strength of their Blackbeard group, due to the probability, they cannot cause much damage to the Whitebeard pirate group. Even if it can cause harm, Marine doesn't have the power to pick up the leak right now. After a long, unspeakable silence. Teach. Only you are not qualified to call me old can. For Emperor's Whitebeard's faint opening. Endless anger was suppressed in the deep voice. The terrifying four emperors surged with power, causing Blackbeard's eyes to widen in shock. The footsteps backed up again and again unconsciously, and a little bit of self-confidence in my heart disappeared. Teach. Are you afraid? First team Captain Marco stopped drinking. I lost to you in the Battle of Bonaro Island, but this time I will never lose again. Ace's body was full of flames, and his fighting spirit was high. Warning with you will cause both sides to suffer. It's really ridiculous, is it? So why do you compete with us? The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, sneered at Dao Chong. That's it. Just each. Who do you think you are? We are the Whitebeard Pirates. It seems that you have swollen a lot these days after you defected to us. All the captains of the Bai to Anfan scolded one after another. Teach, I really want to know, what kind of fruit is that, which made you lost your mind and killed me? Chapter 289, Black and White. End the battle. Subscribe. Teach, I really want to know, what kind of fruit is that, which made you lost your mind and killed me? Sage, the captain of the revived 4th Division, spoke coldly. Less less wordy, shut up all of them. Blackbeard yelled emotionally. Whitebeard, are you afraid? Don't dare to challenge me one on one. The obvious aggressive method. But the effect is very good. Kula la la la, you are so brave. Teach, it seems that you have forgotten something. Well, then let me teach you again today. The deep voice of four emperors Whitebeard Haki laughed. Marco, Ace, you all don't shoot. This is the captain's order, and it is also my 347 account to everyone is the captain. But dad, 
Your body, Marco frowned worriedly, pierced by Skewad's filial sun sword, opened by Admiral Akainu's magma punch. In the end, he was beaten to death by Marine, although these are all illusory happenings in the singing world, but... Death in battle in the singing world has no effect on Whitebeard in the real world. Plus the fight so far, Whitebeard appears to be intact on the surface. In fact, the physical condition is not optimistic. Marco, this is an order from the captain of the father. The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, patted Marco on the shoulder. Heard the words. Marco just sighed and said nothing more. Retreat together with the other team leaders to leave enough space for duels. The other side. Thieves ha 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 ha. Little ones, you all stand back. Don't interfere. Seeing Whitebeard take the bait. Blackbeard suddenly became proud. Following Whitebeard's example, he waved his hand, causing Cheshire's, Buggy and others to retreat, a radius of 100 meters. Just Whitebeard and Blackbeard. The atmosphere in the arena was suddenly tense. Marshal Sengoku, are we really doing nothing? Naval Headquarters Elite Vice Admiral asked the Flying Squirrel in a deep voice. Unnecessary. Marshal Sengoku waved his hand. His eyes calmly looked at the battlefield in black and white. Both Whitebeard and Blackbeard are their Marine's arch enemy. It's best for them to be able to fight internally by themselves. It would be even better if both sides can lose in the end. But Marshal Sengoku also knows it's almost impossible. After all, Blackbeard's opponent is the strongest man in the world. BCBB, say Buddy Islands, Live Plaza. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. what's going on here? What's going on? Looking at the black and white battlefield displayed on one of the live broadcast screens. The tens of thousands of reporters and Melanitas who gathered in the square couldn't help but widen their eyes and show shock. Four Emperor's Whitebeard and Shikai Bukai Blackbeard. E dot 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 they are. Whitebeard and Blackbeard, are they going to fight one on one? This, this, this. Is simply absurd. How can that Blackbeard be able to single out against four Emperor's Whitebeard? It's like eating the heart of a bear and the guts of a leopard, and you are looking for a dead end. Being able to knock down Firefist Ace and become a Shikai Bukai, that Blackbeard does have something but not much. Who does that Blackbeard think he is, who dares to challenge the strongest man in the world? For Blackbeard's overreaching and challenging Whitebeard, the reporters and the people who eat melons are all ridiculed. TCH, it's really ridiculous, how arrogant is that Blackbeard Marshal middle dot d middle dot ditch? Heyming Skilichman Apple gave a disdainful cut. This is not just arrogance, but a way out of no way. Fallen Marine Rear Admiral Drake analyzed. But, look, the sly expression on that Blackbeard's face. It seems that he really has some plans. Er or Uj, the strange monk of Sky Island, spoke suspiciously. No matter what conspiracy or trick, it is useless in the face of absolute strength, said Capone Big, captain of the Flame Tang Pirates. It's about to start. Killak Era spoke in a deep voice. Let's see, Blackbeard, what you can do for Whitebeard's challenge, Captain Astor's kid said in a deep voice. Chapter 290 Blackbeard's Reliance The ability to absorb power. Subscribe. Naval Headquarters. Battlefield. Blackbeard and Whitebeard. The battle to end has begun. Cool la 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 la. Accompanied by heroic laughter, for Emperor's Whitebeard raised his right fist above his head. As the fists as big as sandbags were clenched, pure white light emerged and entwined. It's not Haki, it's the apocalyptic, strong shocking calendar. Before the punch was thrown out, the atmosphere was already cracked. The horror of this blow can be seen. However, facing the terrifying blow of the four Emperor's Whitebeard. Blackbeard Teach was not afraid of anti-joy, and the corners of his mouth raised a sly arc. See, Ace, who was watching from the outside, suddenly changed his expression. Dad, be careful of his darkness, it will invalidate other people's abilities. Ace hurriedly yelled a reminder. In the Battle of Bonaro Island, he suffered a heavy loss under the darkness of Blackbeard and was seriously injured by one blow. Thief ha 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 ha. It's too late. Dark water. Blackbeard let out a triumphant laugh. Deep darkness poured out from his palm. It rotates slowly like a windmill, wrapping Whitebeard's shockwave ability, and then absorbing it completely. This unexpected and weird scene surprised everyone inside and outside the battlefield. Daddy's shock, disappeared. The captain of the 7th squad, Lakeo, let out a strange cry. No. Not gone. Absorbed by Teacher's bastard's darkness, as Ace said. Yazang. The captain of the 16th division, yelled in shock. How could such a thing happen? It was the shock of the old man. How could the power of the strongest Paramisha shock fruit be mere teach? It's not teacher's power, but that dark ability. For that ability, Blackbeard did not hesitate to kill his decades-old partner. It seems that he has long known the characteristics and strength of that ability. So, all the captains of the White Regiment were shocked and furious. I see, teach, you killed me just for this ability, Sax. The captain of the fourth team, said quietly, Thief ha 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 ha, that's right. Blackbeard Teach let out the biggest laugh of his life. This is the most vicious ability, Lodia Dark Fruit. In the face of my darkness, all capable users are powerless, even you, Dad, my darkness. Even the ability of Devil Fruit can be absorbed and weakened, 
You can no longer make earthquakes. Blackbeard laughed smugly. At the same time a lunge, a powerful punch hit Whitebeard hard in the stomach. Blackbeard's fist is enough to easily break Ace's bones, and the weight is definitely not light. Even Whitebeard couldn't help grunting at this moment, and stepped back half a step. Oh, 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 oh. That's the momentum. She, come on, Captain Teach, take Whitebeard. Fighting champion Arthur's buggy, Otto Koshi Fanuka. Devil Sheriff Lafayette and others cheered excitedly. That guy Teach is really good at it. The evil King Avalo Pizarro narrowed his eyes. It seems that that bastard Teach didn't lie about his ability explanation. If it's the darkness, it is indeed possible to do that kind of thing. Crescent Moon Hunter Katarina thought to herself. In other words, as long as you follow Teach, you can freely choose the ability you want. This is really good, I want the ability to drink any time, anywhere. Barrel Basque Cho 8 burped. It's too early to say that. At least until Teach actually wins Whitebeard. Sure. of the rain spoke unhurriedly. Dot. Chapter 291 Lozy is Whitebeard! Exclamation mark subscribe. Say buddy islands, live plaza. Hey, hey, what's going on now? Just kidding. That Blackbeard. That Blackbeard managed to withstand the shock of the four emperors Whitebeard. What the hell? What the hell is going on here? That's the strongest shaking power of the strongest man in the world. People who had ridiculed Blackbeard teaches overreach before were all stunned and dumbfounded at the moment. Correct me. Whitebeard is no longer the strongest in the world, fairy tale chairman Suyu is the strongest 260. Compared to this, that Blackbeard actually withstood Whitebeard's strongest attack, and even found a chance to fight back. It's just a mere Blackbeard, how could it be so strong? It must be that Whitebeard has become weaker. That's right, it must have been Whitebeard's after effects of dying in the singing world war that gave Blackbeard a chance. Regardless of the reasons for this, the fact of the matter is that Blackbeard can really compete with Whitebeard. Could it be that a major event of the next gram will really happen today? The tens of thousands of reporters and Melanitas gathered in the square stared nervously, watching the live broadcast without blinking. What a bunch of complete idiots. It's just a temporary gain and loss. It's too early to draw a conclusion. Captain Astor's kid sneered. Even though that Blackbeard has weird dark abilities, I still don't think he can win Whitebeard. Fallen Marine Rear Admiral Drake shook his head. Isn't it a matter of course? That's Whitebeard. Capone Big. The captain of the flame tank pirates, takes it for granted. In this battle, the probability of Blackbeard winning and surviving in the end is zero. The magician Hawkins sentenced Blackbeard to death on the spot. At this time, oh, 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 there was commotion in the square, all because of the sudden change in the live broadcast on the big screen. For Emperor's Whitebeard who was counterattacked by Blackbeard just a second ago, this moment suddenly exploded. The power of the strongest Paramecia shock fruit is not used. It's just pure physical and swordsmanship. The supreme sharp knife cuts through the clouds and breaks them. A whirlwind slash landed on Blackbeard Teacher's shoulders. Poof! The blood rushed up more than one meter in an instant. Ah ah ah! There was a scream like a pig being slaughtered. A second ago, he was still triumphant and wanton Blackbeard Teach. At this moment, he was rolling all over the ground in pain, describing it as extremely embarrassing. Who do you think I am? Lozy is Whitebeard. Harky's full roar was earth shattering. Oh ooh, ooh, ooh. Daddy Mighty. Daddy Harky. A mere Teach. Who has the face to provoke dad? This is the price of provoking dad. So what if you get a weird ability? Daddy's power doesn't just depend on devil fruit. Do you understand now? Teach, if you want to challenge dad, you are still two ten thousand years too early. Daddy is the strongest in the world before. How can you challenge him with a little teach? Teach, it seems that you have really forgotten. The horror of the hidden team. All over the battlefield, everyone in the white beard pirates, who are watching this battle, cheered and jumped for joy. Unlike the excitement of the Whitebeard Pirates. This moment, Buggy, Lafayette, Vanakar and other members of the gang were all dumbfounded and couldn't laugh anymore. Sure enough, it still doesn't work. Sure. of the rain whispered, not surprised by this result. If you want to blame, you can only blame Teach himself. It's not good to focus on someone's fruit, but you must focus on Whitebeard. The villainous King Abelo Pizarro sneered. Say Buddy Islands. Ha ha ha. Did I just say, how could Whitebeard lose to mere Blackbeard? Yeah 2.9. That's for Emperor's white beard Edward Newgate. Even if the ability is restrained, the strength of the beard itself will not be restrained. In front, you didn't seem to say that just now. Haven't many of you been saying that white beard is old? Ha 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 ha, it's a joke. The people who eat melons are discussing enthusiastically. Stop arguing, look, the final moment is coming. Chapter 292 White Beard Headshot Black Beard! Exclamation mark subscribe. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. Ah ah ah. The shrill screams, like a pig being slaughtered echoed endlessly. Damn. It hurts. It hurts me to death. Blackbeard Marshall Middle dot D Middle dot T trolled all over the floor in a state of embarrassment. Starting from his right shoulder, a long and narrow knife mark stretched all the way to his lower waist. The wound was so big and deep that almost all kinds of internal organs could be seen. Teach, you have been like this since before. Conceit and recklessness, this is your greatest weakness, and it is also doomed. No matter how powerful you get, you will never be the strongest. 
the indifferent opening of four emperor's white beard. Fifteen clicks. Whitebeard took a step forward, step on Blackbeard's hands with both feet, blocking its movements and dark abilities. The big hand grabbed Blackbeard Teach's face, and the white shockwave spread around his head. Now that his hands are restrained, Blackbeard can't do it even if he wants to use the dark water absorption ability. No dot 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 don't, don't, daddy. Blackbeard let out a terrified cry, looking terrified. Father, I'm your son, are you serious? Are you really going to kill me? Blackbeard begged for mercy trying to play the family card to make Whitebeard show mercy. Teach, as I said, you are the only one who is not qualified to be my son. For Emperor's Whitebeard whispered quietly, without the slightest mercy. The strongest paramecia shock fruit, fully opened. Boom, rumble. A huge portal exploded in the dilapidated Motobu land. The entire naval headquarters field was shaken by Whitebeard's blow. Good moment. The vibration stopped, and the battlefield returned to calm. In the deep pit, Blackbeard's head was bleeding, his head was bloody and bloody, and black and red blood froth kept overflowing from the corner of his mouth. Having withstood the overbearing shock blow from Four Emperor's white beard, Blackbeard Teach was already seriously injured. But, he is not dead yet. Still alive. Withstood the full blow of the Four Emperor's head on, and still stood up tenaciously, like an immortal Xiaokiang. Sizzle sizzle tilde, say buddy islands, live plaza. The gasps of the reporters and the melon-eating crowd came and went one after another. That Blackbeard dot 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 is still alive. Taking a full-blown headshot from Four Emperor's White Beard and still not dying. The previous shock is not a joke. Four Emperor's White Beard should have shown no mercy. But Blackbeard is still alive. What a tenacious vitality. I thought that Blackbeard's head would explode like a watermelon. It's obviously just a little-known little person, but it's really deep enough. The reporters and the melon eaters were all shocked shocked by Blackbeard's strong vitality. But, no matter how tenacious the vitality is, so what? In the face of absolute power, it will only increase the pain in vain, said Capone Big, captain of the Flame Tang Pirates. Indeed, the gap between Shikai Bukai and Four Emperors is not even 590, not to mention that Whitebeard has the reputation of being the strongest. Fallen Marine Rear Admiral Drake's nod of approval. In battles at the same level, tenacious vitality may be able to affect the final result, but, in a crushing situation with disparity in strength, it is better to die early than to struggle hard, Magician Hawkins said. Obviously now is the best time to make up the knife, why did Whitebeard suddenly not move? Is he still soft-hearted? Heyming Skilichmanap spoke suspiciously. No. Not right. Killak Era's complexion changed. There seems to be something wrong with Whitebeard's body, Captain Astor's kid said. Is geriatric disease about to break out? Chapter 293 The Strongest Earthquake versus The Most Fierce Dark Subscription Naval Headquarters Battlefield When dealing with a traitor like Teach, Dad will not show mercy just because his heart is soft. The captain of the first team, Marco the Phoenix, gritted his teeth. It's all because of me that. Ace clenched his fists in self-blame. Could it be that dad's body? Father, are you alright? Sure enough, let's all work together to make a quick decision. Jaws, Beaster, Yizang and other captains also noticed Whitebeard's abnormality. Zizi ha ha dot 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 zuzi ha 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 ha. There was a loud and arrogant laugh, and the bloodied Blackbeard struggled to his feet. Even though he was in a state of embarrassment, his face and mouth were still full of pride. What's the matter? Dad, keep going. This kind of level is not enough to tickle me. Blackbeard changed his previous embarrassing appearance, and provocatively said. During the time he spoke, his breath was constantly calming down. This is the pervert physique that Blackbeard has. The special constitution of a person who can withstand the unprecedented ability of two devil fruits. Coupled with the damage absorption of the Lodia dark fruit ability, the ability to resist punches is already full. Don't shoot anyone. Whitebeard spoke majestically and stopped the captain of the white beard who was about to step forward. I'm not so weak that I need your help to deal with mere teach. Thief ha ha ha, father, don't be so stubborn, you are very reluctant to just stand now, why should you live in such pain, let me give you a good time. Blackbeard teach sneered, if you can do it, give it a try, kid. Whitebeard was condescending, giving Blackbeard a look of regal contempt. Don't think that's going to scare me, Whitebeard. You're nothing but a loser from a previous era. Blackbeard teaches A's were dark. Deep darkness surged out of its body. Dark cave road. Blackbeard yelled loudly, and slapped the ground with his big hand wrapped in darkness. Clatter tilde. The darkness is like a tide, with Blackbeard as the center, spreading to the four directions, forcing the people in the four directions to retreat again and again. The terrible gravitational erosion of darkness caused catastrophic changes in the battlefield of the headquarters. The ground. The ground is sinking. No, no, what the hell is this? Everyone. Go back quickly. R -r -r. There was a lot of shouting. People who failed to evacuate out of the dark area in time were all trapped in a quagmire. Being dragged by the gravitational force of darkness, he fell into the bottomless abyss. Thief ha ha ha. The real show is yet to come. Look, Whitebeard, and the world. This is the real power of my dark fruit. Blackbeard let out a wanton, insolent laugh. The darkness in all directions quickly flowed back with his will. Finally, 
It turned into a huge dark tornado behind him, twisting irregularly. Dark spiral. Blackbeard waved his huge hand high above his head. The terrifying dark tornado was Emil first. In the next second, he went straight towards Whitebeard. In this tornado, there is not only darkness, but also all the things that disappeared in the darkness before. Under the acceleration of the dark storm, the power of various sawdust fragments in the darkness is not even below that of bullets. Seeing the terrifying dark storm controlled by Blackbeard, the expressions of all the captains of the White Group changed drastically, especially Aces. The decisive battle at Bonaro Island that day, his Meramera fruit's strongest move, Dianjiayandi, was defeated by Blackbeard's move. Compared with all kinds of sundries in the darkness, what really needs to be paid attention to in this trick is still the darkness. The terrifying gravity and tearing force from the darkness is enough to tear the flesh and blood of a human body to pieces. Go to hell, Wanders, Whitebeard. Blackbeard yelled frantically. A huge dark tornado rushed in front of Four Emperor's Whitebeard. Finally, Whitebeard was no longer silent. He raised his right fist and smashed it down towards the void in front of him. Boom. It was as if a battle drum was beating between heaven and earth. The entire naval headquarters was shocked. Next second, click. Kaka. The atmosphere shatters like a mirror. A series of irregular fissures, carrying endless and terrifying earthquake force, met Blackbeard's dark storm. Boom. Rumble. Chapter 294 4 Emperor's Whitebeard beat Blackbeard teach subscription. Boom. Rumble. Shocking against an The strongest versus the fiercest. Two terrifying forces collided. The pure white shockwave and the dark gravitational force continued to escape. Potholes were blasted one after another on the dilapidated land of the headquarters. The powerful shockwave caused the ground to be lifted in pieces. Hundreds of thousands of catties of stone soared into the sky under the gust of wind. Then it was crushed into dust silently under the force of the hedge. The whole world seems to be divided into two, black and white. I don't know how long it has been. In the shock and exclamation of tens of thousands of people inside and outside the battlefield. For Emperor's white beard and black beard teachers alt hedged into the final stage. In black and white, two powerful forces triggered a terrifying explosion. Ah, ah, ah. A shrill scream sounded. Blackbeard teach flew backwards from the endless smoke. While screaming, blood was still gushing from his mouth. Fly, fly. Blackbeard fly. In Sabadis Udow live broadcast square. The melon eating crowd shouted everywhere. Ha ha ha. I knew it would be like this. Blackbeard, how can it compete with Whitebeard? Four emperors are still four emperors after all. Not some clowns who can touch porcelain. Whitebeard is the man with the strongest reputation. Even if it's not the peak now, it's not just anyone, BHDQ, who can pick it. Most of the people who eat melons take it for granted, and there is no surprise about this result. Don't talk too early, the results of the previous collision haven't come out yet. Yeah, now we only see Blackbeard's upside down flight, but not the day. At least Blackbeard is still alive, but Whitebeard might. A small number of people who like to stand alone are opposed to it trying to express views different from the secular world to gain attention. However, their words were not finished. Next second, whoa, Whitebeard, Whitebeard is safe and sound. The enthusiastic cheers of the people completely drowned out a small group of maverick voices. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield, the endless smoke and dust from the black and white hedge explosion bellowed into the sky, covering all directions. Some moment, Kaka, the moving smoke suddenly paused. Then it shattered like a mirror, in the broken smoke and dust. A tall figure walked calmly. That's for Emperor's White Beard. Oh, 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 oh. All members of the White Beard pirates and their 43rd affiliated regiment erupted into an astonishing uproar. Sure enough, the final winner is White Beard, a mere Black Beard. Far from being the strongest, that Blackbeard guy is a piece of shit. He was expected to do damage to Whitebeard. That's the result. The hawks on Marine's side all sighed with regret. Thief ha 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 ha. At least there is no embarrassment. Yoat. Above the sky, the outdoor anchor golden lion Shiki laughed. Just don't forget, Newgate, you have the opportunity now. All thanks to Chairman Suyu's blessing. Don't waste the opportunity that the Chairman gave you to create. It's so noisy, Shiki. I don't need you to tell me about this kind of thing. Whitebeard spoke calmly. Striding towards the inverted black beard. Teach, pay the price for what you have done. Team Forsaki and everyone who fell here today, we must choose your blood to commemorate. For Emperor's white beard spoke coldly. Damn it, they are all people who are about to die. Why do they still have such power? Blackbeard Teach yelled unwillingly. Rolling and crawling, he escaped in embarrassment. Panic like a bereaved dog. After a previous collision, he no longer had the slightest desire to confront Whitebeard. He finally remembered. For Emperor's white beard what a terrifying figure Edward Newgate was. And... He finally realized it too. How stupid and overconfident I was when I wished to single out Vice Admiral to kill him before. Chapter 295 Blackbeard kneels down and begs for mercy and calls him Dad subscription. Naval headquarters. Black and white break the battlefield. The battle isn't over though. The outcome is already decided. After being beaten by four emperors white beard. Blackbeard teach finally understood his folly. Knowing how self-deprecating it is to try to defeat white beard. This moment. 
He no longer has the thought of being king or hegemony in his heart tilde. All I can think about is running away and living. But, by now, how could Whitebeard still, continue to let the tiger go home? No dot 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 don't come here dot 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 forgive me, father. Blackbeard teach let out another ugly plea for mercy. Father, I knew I was wrong. I really knew I was wrong. I was the one who was obsessed with ghosts, and did something rebellious, and I also harmed my father and everyone. But now I know I was wrong. Please tell me again. I'll take a chance, dad, we're family. Teach. I have said it long ago. Only you are not worthy to be my son. For Emperor's Whitebeard spoke indifferently, looking at Blackbeard as if looking at a dead person. Damn, hate, hate, damn Whitebeard. I've already admitted that I was wrong. What do you want me to do? Besides, Sakima has been resurrected now. What else can you be dissatisfied with? Blackbeard Teach, who knew that begging for mercy would be fruitless, suddenly cursed with unwillingness. It's ugly, Teach. Marco, the captain of the first team Phoenix said coldly, even if Saki is resurrected under the power of President Suyu, the sins you committed will never be written off. The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, stopped drinking sharply. Wake up, exclamation mark. Get ready to go to hell. Repent your crimes after you get to hell. Bista, Lakio, Yizang and other captains scolded one after another. Hey, hey, dad, are you serious? Continuing to fight like this is not good for you or me. It will only let Marine take advantage of it for nothing. Let's take a step back and stop here. Blackbeard Teach seems schizophrenic in making this whimsical proposal. However, all that was met was the wordless wrath of four emperors white beard. There is also the sharp edge of the supreme sharp knife Kong Yun cut that shone with icy cold light. The blade of the snow white supreme sharp knife Kong Yun key fell with the force of chopping Mount Tai. Blackbeard Teach, who had almost lost his fighting spirit, was split into two and he slashed on the spot through the hideous scars. One can clearly see the distribution of bones and organs in Blackbeard's body which is different from that of ordinary people. Like an alien. M. Is this the human body structure? Why are the two hearts? This. This. Monster. Monster. This guy Blackbeard is really a monster through and through. Seeing the structure of Blackbeard's internal body, the marine and the pirates couldn't help being shocked and screaming. It hurts so much, I'm going to die. This time I'm really going to die. Blackbeard was writhing in pain. Captain. Captain Teach. Fighting champion Arthur's Buggies. Otto Koshi Fanuka. Devil Sheriff Lafayette and other old people of the Blackbeard Pirates can no longer watch helplessly as they are about to launch a rescue. However, every move they make is closely watched by the captains of the Whitebeard Pirates. Just waiting for you to move. If you don't move, we really don't know how to find fault. If you want to blame, blame you for following the wrong person. Don't disturb dad to clean the door. Blackbeard Gang. Let's explain everything here today. What are your identities, and you dare to engage in symmetry with us? The captains of the Whitebeard Pirates swarmed up like great white sharks who smelled blood. Dot. Chapter 296, The Black Group is Destroyed. We are the Whitebeard Pirates. Subscribe. Naval Headquarters Battlefield. The captains of the Whitebeard Pirates rioted together. Like a cat smelling fish, it launched a siege to the Blackbeard Gang. Their hands, who had been just watching from the sideline so far, were already itchy. At this moment, if they catch an opportunity, they will naturally not let it go easily. Shine, Clash. The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, suddenly turned into a diamond. Although the body is huge, the speed is not slow at all. In the blink of an eye, Diamond Jaws he flashed in front of fighting champion Yisha's Burgess. 677 damn it. Waves, elbow. Seeing the huge diamond that appeared without warning, fighting champion Zisha's Burgess couldn't help but change his face in shock. Almost unconsciously, Cheshire's Burgess swung his elbow and delivered his strongest blow. A powerful elbow hit Jaws's diamond body. Boom. Two violent forces collided together. The broken naval headquarters ground exploded further. Ka ka ka. There was an overwhelmed clicking sound. Derived from the elbow of fighting champion Arthur's Burgess. In front of the toughest man in the world. He hit with all his strength, but not only failed to hurt Josie in the slightest. The reaction force that followed caused his arm to completely shatter. He he. I haven't exerted my strength yet. Diamond Jaws sneered. Ding tilde. Diamonds shine brightly. A terrifying power erupted. Ah ah ah. Accompanied by shrill screams, fighting champion Yishas Burgess flew upside down tens of hundreds of meters and landed on the ground, motionless, already seriously injured. The other side. Bang bang bang. There was a lot of gunfire. Blackbeard pirates sniper Otto Koshi Homo Oka repeatedly pulled the trigger. His gun speed is very fast and his speed is also extremely high. The bullet trapped around Haki cuts holes in the opponent's body, front and back. But it doesn't work, because his opponent is the captain of the first team, the Phoenix Marco. Haki's precision sniper is really dangerous. Mew. Marco in the Phoenix form smiled relaxedly and freely. Blue flames blazed all over the body, and the wounds healed as before when exposed. It's all a choice of fate. It seems that I have stopped here. Otto Koshi Fanuka whispered calmly. He put down the sniper rifle in his hand. Accept your fate calmly. Phoenix seal. Marco. The phoenix landed with one foot. Otto Koshi Fanuka, 
lost, fire punch, raging tilde, the blazing fire fist exploded, endless ferocious flames rushed past, devoured the devil sheriff Lafayette with pale makeup, rose, flurry of dancing, team four's captain, foil Vesta, wields a pair of sabers and performs magnificent sword skills, the endless rose sword energy sent the Shinigami poison cue and the sick horse Zwang Zwang into the sky together, R, it's too late, I didn't get it, Marco, Jaws, you are too fast, can't you leave one for us, that's it, the team leaders who failed to get a chance to get a mobile phone shouted one after another in dissatisfaction, sorry sorry, the opponent is a little careless, Marco, the phoenix smiled, for the enemy, aren't there four more over there, the foil fist sword points at Sharu and other impel down villains, damn it, don't bully me too much, Whitebeard pirates, the evil king Avalo Pizarro screamed in anger, we have drawn a clean line from the Blackbeard gang, and we have nothing to do with it, Crescent Moon Hunter Katarina Dupon said repeatedly, don't think that we are easy to bully because we have been silent all the time, we came out of eternal hell, even if you are the Whitebeard pirates, don't think that you can manipulate us at will, it is not wise to provoke powerful enemies like us for no reason, choice, 2.9 the big wine barrel Basque Cho 8 opened his mouth coldly, if I can, I'd like to live in peace. Maybe we can help you raid from the Marine Siege. Sure. of the Rain calmly and calmly wiped the Demon Sword Thunderstorm in his hand, with a bloodthirsty gleam in his eyes. The two sang the red face and the other sang the bad face in an attempt to overwhelm everyone in the Bay Ituan. However, what they threatened was one of the strongest teams in this sea. Who do you think you are? Who do you think we are? We are the Whitebeard Pirates. Chapter 297 Rogers Thanks. Suyu wants to take the head of five elders! Exclamation mark subscribe. We are the Whitebeard Pirates. Facing the intimidation of Sha'ru of the Rain and Cho 8 of the Basque of the Great Barrel. The captains of the Whitebeard Pirates were unmoved. He struggled to encircle and suppress the four vicious gangsters. See, Sha'ru of the Rain finally stopped being calm. Surprise and anger could not help appearing on his face. Boom. The gunshots fell. The bullets wrapped around Haki magnified in his pupils. It was the captain of the 16th Division who was hiding in the shot. Come on, big guys. We can't let Marco and the others take the lead this time. Team 6th Team Captain Bramank said, threatening us 19s. I really don't know how to live or die. I'd like to see the level of the six-story eternal hell in Impel Down. We don't have much grievances with you. If you want to blame, blame you for following the wrong person. Just stay in Impel Down and wait to die. There won't be so many things. Namur from the 8th Division, Ariel from the 10th Division, Fagata from the 12th Division, and more than a dozen captains of the Whitebeard Pirate Team swarmed up, scrambling to kill the four of Sharu. Damn Whitebeard Pirates, you will definitely pay a terrible price. The evil King Abelo Pizarro spoke viciously, however, just the next second, he just couldn't be arrogant anymore. All words turned into screams of pain. In terms of strength, those who came out of the sixth underground floor of Impel Down did have something, but not much. Two years later, they can be regarded as high-ranking cadres of the Imperial Regiment after gaining the powerful Devil Fruit ability. Maybe it can compete with the top five captains of the Baichun in terms of hard power. But right now, they have no powerful fruits, even if they face a single captain, they can't win. Not to mention that the number of white team leaders is several times that of them now. 2 on 1, 3 on 1. The evil king Avalo Pizarro, the crescent moon hunter Katarina Deppen and the big barrel Basque Cho 8 quickly lost. The only one who was a little bit better, persisted longer, and seized the opportunity to fight back with Sha'ru of the Rain. How dare you resist, brothers? Let's go together. FK him. Team 7th team captain Lakey Eo and others let out a groan. Even Sha'ru who is as strong as the rain, can't withstand the beatings of the white team leaders who don't talk about martial arts. Damn it, amidst the unwilling roar, the house was defeated. It's over, teach, sage. The captain of the fourth team, followed Whitebeard and came to Blackbeard who was seriously injured and dying. Ahem dot 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 no dot 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 don apostrophe t dot 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 forgive me. Even at this point, Blackbeard teaches desire to survive is still strong. Whitebeard, however, would not give him another chance. Poof. The blade of the supreme sharp knife, Kong Yankee, pierced Blackbeard's heart, shattering his heart. Immediately afterwards, Whitebeard raised the knife and cut off Blackbeard's head, completely severing his life. So far, Whitebeard and Blackbeard, white and black, completely cut off. What are you looking at, Roger? The legendary marine here gap let out a loud shout. He was injured in the battle with Suyu before. The moment Roger was resurrected, 133's physical strength was greatly restored and his fighting spirit was high, ah ha ha, don't be so tense, Garp, speaking of which, I haven't thanked you enough yet, Roger laughed, thank you so much for raising Ace, stop rambling, give me a punch, Garp bristles with embarrassment, a strike of lightning entwined with thick haki smashed towards Roger mercilessly, one piece Roger and marine hero Garp, fighting again after more than 20 years, then let's start too, so you smiled slightly, his eyes fixed on Jupiter 5 elders Peter, now that war has been declared, something must be done today, for example, 
take the head of the highest power in the world and declare the start of the war. Chapter 298 Fairy Tale S Class Mage vs God's Knights Subscription Naval Headquarters, atop the battlefield. The war finally broke into the final stage, while Whitebeard and Blackbeard's final battle was going on. The all-out war between Fairy Tale and World Government has also begun. Fairy Tale S Class Mages headed by Gildarts had a fierce confrontation with the Phantom Beasts of the Knights of God. Rockfist, Yanti Jula clasped his palms together his round eyes wide open. A powerful burst of magic power caused the earth to roar. The fist of the earth, as firm as steel, suddenly rose from the ground. Fenra, the giant wolf king of the northern land, was raised high, and he spit out a big mouthful of blood. Bastard, you dare to hurt me, who is a world noble. You are already sentenced to death. The giant wolf Fenra roared angrily. He wields huge wolf claws, the claws that shone with a cold light cut through the atmosphere. He attacked Jura with unparalleled sharpness and strength. A counterattack against the giant wolf Fenra. Jura didn't care in the slightest. Rock Mountain. Put your hands together, and a huge rock god of war rises from behind him, indestructible. This is the strongest defensive magic of Rock Iron Jura, who is one of the ten great magicians. Even the sharp claws of the giant wolf Fenra couldn't cause even the slightest bit of damage to it. On the contrary, his own fingers and claws collapsed under the huge reaction force. Multiple rock pillars. Tilda. Jura waved his hand. Huge stone pillars rose from the ground one after another, flying the giant wolf Fenner up, vomiting blood continuously. This is his first battle as a wizard of fairy tale in the true sense. Yanti Jura fought steadily and firmly suppressed the admiral level giant wolf Fenner. Oh, ooh, 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 say buddy islands, live plaza. Exclamations from the reporters and the melon eating crowd arose everywhere. This is Rock Iron Jura. Although I have heard that he is very strong. But, this is the first time I have witnessed his battle with my own eyes. Simply stronger than the rumors. Speaking of which, what kind of capable person is Yanti Jura? Can he manipulate rocks freely? I know. That must be the ability of the Paramecia stone fruit, which originally belonged to the Carda of the King's Dong Quixote family. However, as a Shishi fruit capable user, Yanti Jura's strength is much better than that of Pika. Is it really a stone fruit ability user? I have heard that there seems to be a Paramecia island fruit ability that can integrate with the island. The reporters and the melon eating crowd gathered in the square were all discussing whether it is Shishi fruit or Dadao fruit. People know that there is no doubt about the strength of Yanti Jura. Naval headquarters, Sky Battlefield. Except the whole body, the soul of Satan. Fairy tale S class mage Mirajan, playing. Dark demonic energy enveloped her whole body. Devil Mirajan burst on top. Her opponent is also a phantom beast user of the Knights of God. The king who dominates the sky and the earth, the Griffin Griffin. It's really ugly, go to hell. The Udman's Griffin ability user spoke coldly. The voice fell. His eyes suddenly glowed red. Two scarlet rays shot out suddenly. Dark rush. The demon Mirajan raised her hand and waved lightly. Powerful dark energy shoots out from the black magic circle. Collided with a scarlet shot, Zhao Wang'o, of the phantom beast Griffin, causing a terrifying explosion. The black energy turned into the claws of the devil. Passing through the smoke of the explosion, the phantom beast eagle grabbed it and changed it. Nanny. The phantom beast griffin was taken aback, fluttered its wings, fled and dodged in embarrassment. Another battlefield. Costume. Fairy armor. Fairy Queen Urza is shining brilliantly all over her body. Gorgeous and powerful fairy armor. Possessed. This is one of Urza's strongest armors. It is just right for dealing with the admiral level phantom beast world python. Chapter 299 The Ability of Five Elders. Everyone fruit torrent subscription. Awaken, Black Snake. This is my strongest armor. Urza, the Fairy Queen, let out a coquettish cry. Ha ha ha, it's ridiculous. With only one piece of armor, you want to compete with me? Even if you are overwhelmed, you have to have a limit. The Udman's worldly python shouted sharply. The thick snake tail flicked violently, bringing countless broken stones through the air. Urza does not dodge or avoid. Swinging the two swords, the green energy shock waves with big pupils rushed out. Not only did it defuse the attack of the worldly giant python, but it also sent it flying with the rest of its strength. Is this the strongest power of Fairy Queen Erda? Gion, the Marine Admiral candidate, pursed his lips, looking shocked and solemn. Everyone has already started, the old man can't lag behind. 720 The Blind Swordsman smiled and opened his mouth, focusing on the rest of the Knights of God. HMPH, it's just an old cripple who can't see, I'll meet you. A Knight of the Gods shot out suddenly and charged towards Yixiao. The Dragon's Roar. All gods shine. Sky Dragon Slayer Wendy and Time Slayer Arusia both attack. Ice Make, Alu, the great ice mage, folded his arms. The extremely cold cold intent invaded the knights of the gods. So, are my opponents you? Gildart stepped forward relaxed and freehand, and locked his eyes on Figerland Garin, the leader of the knights of god, and the two knights of god behind him. What crush king, hi Arusa knew today. Figerland Garin snorted coldly, and drew his sabre out of its sheath. Fairy tale and world government. A fierce all-out war has begun. It's not just Herta, Mirajan and other S-rank powerhouses. Fairy tale girls such as Nami, Robin, 
and Vivi also went to war on their own. Start a fierce duel with the CP killers of the world government. For the fairy tale girls, this is also an excellent growth opportunity. In addition, with Seraphim supporting them, there will be absolutely no accidents for the girls. Damn it, damn it. Fairy tale is damned. On the broken spaceship deck, Jupiter 5 elders Peter clenched his fists, looking at the Seraphs who should belong to them. They now become the assistants of the enemy. He almost gritted his teeth, and the rage in his heart was like a volcano. However, next second, the anger and unwillingness on Jupiter 5 Elders Peter's face suddenly dissipated. What emerged instead was a deep sense of horror and fear. CCCF intuition told him he was being targeted by a terrifying presence. Jupiter 5 Elders Peter suddenly turned his head, just in time to meet Suyu's smiling eyes. Seeing Suyu's kind smile, his heart skipped a beat with an ominous premonition. Bastard Suyu, what the hell are you trying to do? Jupiter 5 Elders asked harshly and restrainedly. Does this still need to be said? Suyu sneered. Everyone is fighting, and we are watching here. It's a little bit bad. Besides, everyone is here. If you escape without a fight, you, the 5 Elders, will lose face! Exclamation mark. I don't need you to worry about my face problem. Jupiter 5 Elders snorted coldly. Hey, are you afraid? Suyu narrowed his eyes and stared. Stop joking. Who do you think I am? Jupiter 5 Elders Pyatrod in anger. Although I don't want to show that figure in front of the world. But, up to now, he has no choice. So you seem to be discussing with him, but in fact he was conveying a message. That is, there is destined to be a battle between them today. Arrogant brat, let me show you the world's highest power and the world's strongest combat power. The Jupiter 5 Elders spoke coldly. He changed suddenly, and his figure suddenly swelled against the wind. It doesn't take a moment to transform into a monster more than 10 meters high. The body of a bullhead. The muscles of the whole body are like horned dragons, exuding a strong sense of strength. Surrounding his body was a strange aura like a ghostly flame. It set off him like a real bull-headed devil. This is what Jupiter 5 Elders Pete is capable of. Zone Human Fruit Phantom Beast Minotaur Form Chapter 300 Human Fruit Phantom Beast Minotaurus Exclamation mark subscribe Alas Tilda The roar of the reckless bull was earth-shattering, resounding throughout the naval headquarters battlefield. It lasts for a long time. At the same time, it is constantly echoing over the islands of Sebadi. FK, 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 FK. What the hell is that monster, huh? Five elders. It's five elders. Five elders transformed. The world's highest power, five elders. He is also a demon fruit power. I always thought that the five elders were just civil servants of the world government and had no combat power. But, five elders not only have the highest power in the world, but also have impressive combat power. That mighty figure, even through the screen, can still feel the sense of terror and oppression. It's not wrong. Five Elders are also strong at the general level. I am more concerned about the ability of Five Elders, that is definitely not an ordinary zone. Phantom Beast. It must be a Phantom Beast. What the Five Elders possess must be a Phantom Beast. The reporters and Melanitas gathered in the square were all shocked and in an uproar. Naval headquarters, atop the battlefield. Turin's body, is that the zone new new fruit? Rakio, the captain of the 7th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates guest. No, no. Those god knights who are not as powerful as the five elders are all rare zone phantom beasts. How can the five elders, who are the most powerful in the world, have ordinary zone abilities? The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, shook his head in denial. That terrifying bull-headed giant form is definitely not an ordinary thing, it is most likely a phantom beast. Marco, the captain of the first team Phoenix, spoke firmly. The Minotaur Robin paused word by word, telling the name that existed in ancient mythology. The posture of the Tauril incarnated by five elders is similar to the mythical Minotaur. Then that is to say, is he a Minotaur form ability user of the zone new new fruit phantom beast? Nami spoke. No, no, Nami, the Minotaur's words are closer to humans, and they should be the phantom beasts with fruits of humans. Vivi offers her own insights. Minotaur, this sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? The marine elites who heard the conversation of the fairy tale girls couldn't help but look thoughtful. Ah, I remembered. Impel Down's Jailer Beast has a Tauril. That's right, Jailer Minotaur. That's a cowman. Some people in Marine recalled one after another. Idiot. Shut up. Don't make unnecessary associations. Dot 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 asking for flowers. The Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel rebuked majestically. Don't compare the guy who failed to awaken with the five elders. The faint opening of Vice Admiral Hyoshao Mountain. Although it's the first time I've seen that posture of five elders, but no matter how you look at it, this is not ordinary. Looking at the nearby giant with muscles like horned dragons and green light in his pupils. All over the battlefield. People on both sides of the marine and pirates couldn't help feeling a chill in their hearts. As if that were real demons, the world government really has collected some weird special abilities. Suyu looked at the bull-headed giant five elders with a smile, 
and his words were still relaxed and freehand. Originally, I didn't want to expose this posture in front of the world. If you want to blame, you can only blame yourselves. The Minotaur Five Elders faintly opened his mouth. The moment the voice fell, the Minotaur Five Elders opened its mouth violently. Moo Moo Tilda. Circles of golden terrifying sound waves rushed out of his mouth. Wherever it passed, the earth continued to explode, and the scene was horrifying. The marines and pirates within a few hundred meters screamed in unison. Covering your ears consciously, it was already too late. Under the impact of the terrifying and destructive sound waves, their eardrums were already shattered. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share and leave a comment on the video.